Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Trust Conference. Free and independent media holds governments and business to account and empowers citizens to make better decisions for themselves and for their communities. Напрямую отсутствие независимых от государства медиа с этим связаны и те репрессии, которые происходят в отношении читателей этих медиа. The Kurt Schalk Awards stand for everything that is good and right about journalism. I mean, the, one, the great thing about this award is that it brings not only financial support to us, but also sort of raises the awareness to stories that might otherwise fall into a void of social media or um, government control. It is our duty to convey the truth. And there is an undeniable truth here in the photos taken by my colleagues and myself. And this is the toll of war. We should not forget the one deadly statistic that nine out of ten cases of killings of journalists are not investigated and prosecuted. I also would like all of us to remember that people in Iran at the moment, they are risking their lives to go to the streets and fight for their freedom. Women, life, freedom. Thank you very much. What we're seeing is that if you don't have these very concrete ways of ensuring the rule of law, human rights, human dignity, fairness, inclusiveness might be at risk. If you are using a blockchain-based system, this is going to make it impossible for companies to lie about what they've done with data. And it's also going to make it impossible for anyone to take your data unless you've consented to it. Welcome to the second day here at Trust Conference. The climate crisis is not robbing them of their futures. It is robbing them of their present. There are so many communities that are impacted by climate change, but they don't know it. Or they don't have the time to talk about it because they're more concerned about having to think about their day-to-day -day life. My fear is not that we won't transition from a fossil fuel economy into a, a sustainable one. My fear is that the green transition is going to be built on the back of slaves. We are actually far, far off of track. In fact, we've barely scratched the surface on climate action. As investors, we're widening our breadth to not only look at the profits and revenue our company is generating, but the experience of all the users around that particular company. How many women have completely disappeared from the labor force? We don't know, right? Because the, once you left, they don't count you anymore. There have been 62 new billionaires created in the pandemic era who've made their money from food or energy. Just at a time when the, the vast majority of people on the planet are grappling with rising food and energy prices. So this is a real problem, it's out of control, and my fear is we're sleepwalking into a, an inequality crisis. This level of inequality, I think we'll look back on it with almost the same abhorrence we apply to looking back at slavery. A sense that how on earth could we have indulged such an in unjust social system that allowed this degree of inequality.